my beautiful friends. I hope you're doing amazing. Today we're going to be talking all about the new white alabaster eye primer from Concrete Minerals. If that's something you'd be interested in. Hi, my name is Audrey if you're new here. Thanks so much for being here. Please consider subscribing before you leave and let's get into the makeup. Okay, so Concrete Minerals came out with a white alabaster eye primer. Absolutely amazing. So super excited when I heard this was coming out. I went ahead today and did one eyeshadow with no eye primer at all and then one with the white to show you the difference. I'm not wearing falsies because I wanted the eyeshadow to have a moment so you guys could see the difference, you know, a little bit more clear. Falsies kind of, they steal the show sometimes. I went in first with the side with no primer. I did the purple on the outside and the inner corner and then the bright green in the middle and kind of blended them together a couple times with the big fluffy brush just to um, make sure there was no harsh lines. I did the same thing on the bottom, the purple, the purple, and then the green in the middle. And I always have been going in with my uh, metallic white lies from Concrete Minerals in the inner corner and the brow bone. It's just beautiful. It just adds so much shine and pop. So the eye primer side, I went ahead and put down the new Alabaster White Eye Primer. Um, you really just need a very small amount. If you go too much, um, it can tend to get it can get kind of messy. Um, these eye primers are very silky, so if you use too much, it could uh, ball up a little bit. So if you just use a very light amount with your ring finger, because it's the least it applies the least amount of pressure to your eyelid because that skin is very sensitive and very thin. So you go ahead and put a light layer. I did put a light layer of the white alabaster eye primer and then went in with the purple on the outer and the inner corner and then the green in the middle. Same for the bottom. Same thing I did on the side with no primer. But as you can see, the eye primer side, it just sticks better. It just blends easier. It looks better and I guarantee you it will last longer. When you put that barrier down over um, your skin and then you put the pigment on top, it's not going, um, if you get even a little bit oily or a little bit hot, uh, this eyeshadow without any primer is going to start to melt off. It just does. <laughs> um, it, uh, it doesn't stick as well if you don't use an eye primer. A white eye primer is going to help those pigments pop so much more. The purple and the green, they just look so bright and vibrant and that has a lot to do with the white eyeshadow primer. I love the colors with the electric primer, the kind of clearish one, but if I want to do a colorful eye look, I'm definitely going to go in with the white eye primer. It just, it makes sense. You put a white base down and the colors look more vibrant. It's like coloring on a white piece of paper compared to a flesh colored piece of paper. It just is going to make the bright look more bright on a white compared to also they have their black obsidian eye primer and it's like coloring with a colored pencil on a black piece of paper those colors aren't going to look as vibrant they're going to look a little bit different um so i absolutely love that they have the three different options i think that's amazing any artist makeup lover in general normal consumer can go on their website and pick something that works for them the best. Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert some swatches on my arm of the, uh, the shade Playground Twist. That's the one that I have on my inner, in the center of my eyelid. I didn't tell you. Sorry. <laughs> Playground Twist in the center and then the shade Notorious. It's one of their pro matte eyeshadows. I have it on the outer corner and the inner corner of that purple. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some swatches of Playground Twist all by itself. And then um, Playground Twist with the electric eye primer. Playground Twist with the white alabaster eye primer. And then Playground Twist with the black obsidian eye primer. 
I just wanted to show you the difference and the comparison between all three of the different eye primers. And yeah, the eye primers retail for $14 on their website. And I do have a link to that website down in the description box. If you want to use my code AudreyMichelle10 at checkout, that is an affiliate code. So I do receive a small commission, but you get 10% off. So win-win for everyone. <laughs> Um, I have a whole playlist on concrete minerals that I created. If you are interested in the brand and you want to see my other videos, um, I think they're an amazing brand. A brand that is small, um, independently owned, and that is willing to take a chance on small influencers like me, <laughs> I think is worth supporting. Just to recap, this is the electric eye primer that they have it's kind of a clear it has a little bit of a tint to it but it really just blurs out your eyelids and makes a really good canvas this is the black obsidian eye primer that is very original and so much fun to change up colors and for dramatic eye looks and this is the new alabaster eye primer the white one it's just Gonna be great for people who love to play with color and people who don't. You can use brown eyeshadow with this, but the white is going to make bright colors pop. Purples, greens, blues, bright pink, red. It's gonna make that color come through and brighter. Leave me a comment down below. How do you feel about eyeshadow primer? Have you used it? Have you not used it? These eyeshadow primers are really great to start out with. I absolutely 100% recommend them. It's an amazing product from Concrete Minerals. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Today we are going to be talking about... Oh, absolutely so excited. <laughs> um, just then, then...